Hello everybody. In this fifth video, I'd like to show you how to use Photoshop to actually add photo filters to your picture. I'm then going to show you how to turn any color picture into a black and white picture or grayscale. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to make what I call a unicolor picture, which is essentially a black and white picture with a color added to it, just one color. Okay, I've already brought in a photo into Photoshop. It's a picture of a ukulele and some chord music. Okay. Um, one of the amazing features of Photoshop is its ability to add in essentially a photo filter effect. So this means you don't have to have the filter on the camera lens to make this type of a filter effect. Let me show you what I mean. It's found by going to Image, Adjustments, and down here there's something called Photo Filter. So I click it. Okay, uh, let's see. This is the filter type. And there's a drop down menu with a lot of different types. Right now it's set to a warming filter. So this is essentially giving you a warming filter effect. Let me unpreview that. The whites look much more whiter. Preview it. The whites look warmer. They look a little bit more yellowish. And let me just go through a few more filters and show you what they are. This is a warming 85 style. If I go down you have a warming 81, it's a little bit more yellowish. Down further, a cooling 80. Down again, a cooling 82, a little more cyanish. Uh, let me go back to the cooling 80. Now I know s when you put these filters on your lens, you would have like a cooling 80. A, B, C, and that refers to how strong of a filter it is, how much it's going to change the picture. And how you would change this in Photoshop is this density. So right now it's at set at 75, I'm sorry, 25%. If you wanted to make it more of an effect, you would increase that. Now it's a lot more bluish. If you wanted to make it less, you would go down. And you can adjust this anywhere from like 0% up to 100%. Uh, for right now, I'm going to just leave it at 25%, so you kind of get an idea. Let me just go, you have yellow, cyan we tried, how about sepia? That's a nice little effect, very common. Deep yellow. And so there's many different preset filters. You can also select the color manually, and you have all the colors available to you. So maybe you want to use that color right there. And there you go. There's your filter. So those are how you work with photo filters in Photoshop. I'm going to cancel this. And we're back to the original image. Now, how do you make a picture into black and white? Well, as in many things in Photoshop, there's many ways of doing this. Some are easier than others, and some yield better results than others. Let me show you probably the easiest way to do it. It is very simple. You go to image and you go to mode and you're going to put it into grayscale mode and that makes everything into grayscale. You can only work in black and whites now. Uh, and let me go back to color. So I go back to image, mode, and I'm going to put it in RGB color for red, green, blue. And now I'm basically where I started, except now it's been converted into a black and white image. Very cool. And there you go. You can save this and you have your black and white image. Nice. The third thing I wanted to show you now is like what I call a uni color. 
and so it takes this black and white photo and it adds on to the photo a color just one color and a very easy way to do this is again using those photo filters so let me show you I go back to image adjustments photo filter and now you can go through and preview all these nice filters and now it's taking that gray and white the black and white image and now it's adding a color over it and so you can make it like this a little bit of a yellowish tone add a little green whatever you choose uh, let me work with sepia and let's just fiddle with the density now it's a really bright sepia if you go really up high it's a very strong effect if you go down low it's almost black and white but it's got a tiny bit of color to it uh, so th there's an example let me unpreview that it's black and white very subtle difference preview it it's black and white with a little bit of sepia added in and this can be a nice way to achieve a different mood to the picture make it look old-fashioned or whatnot many different moods you can achieve okay well I hope this was very helpful in showing you some very basic but very profound edits to your photos okay hope this helped